The methane gas they produce may be a dangerous greenhouse gas, but their dung is recycled and transformed into energy. Not far from South Africa's capital, Pretoria, this factory mixes the manure with organic waste like paper and expired yogurt from landfills and markets. It's basically a, a, a huge living organism. So, so the, the waste goes into the tank, it's mixed together, so we mix our liquids, our, our, our solid waste, and then we put it in, in, in conditions which are ideal for the bacteria to break down those, that waste. And while the bacteria is breaking down the waste, it's producing methane gas, uh, which is our primary fuel in the, the gas engines. The result? 4.4 megawatts of electricity used to power a car manufacturing plant, but it's a drop in the ocean for a country that urgently needs to diversify its energy landscape. 85% of South Africa's electricity comes from the national provider ESCOM's coal-fired power stations, and the network, outdated and poorly maintained, is holding back economic growth. The government wants to reverse the trend and become an example for the continent, like this brand new 100 megawatts wind farm in the west of the country. We have published a integrated resource plan um, for until 2030, which then highlights our commitment in terms of diversification. And that plan has allocated 42% of this new generation capacity to renewables. According to the plan, 20% of South Africa's energy should come from renewable sources by 2030. But the government has limited means. Projects are rare and are usually financed by foreign loans. So some companies have taken the lead, like this condiment factory in the Cape, which has installed solar panels. The system itself is costly, but I want it to be a manufacturer that actually uh, is part of the process of saving energy, part of the green energy uh, experience. And the system itself is calculated to pay itself off in five to six years. Uh, after that, it's paid off. The energy I'm receiving out of it is free. But in a country so dependent on coal, green energy's prospects come a distant second to nuclear power. France, Russia, China, South Korea and the United States are all in the running to build reactors capable of providing 9,600 megawatts, a quantity impossible for renewables to march anytime soon. Penina Karibe, CCTV.